Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. The ListAg analytic function was introduced in Oracle 11G Release 2. Before this, we had a number of ways to achieve this type of string aggregation, but ListAg made things a lot simpler. Here we see the basic usage of the ListAg analytic function. We want to display a comma separated list of employees for each department. We select the department number, which is also included in the group by to define our group. In the ListAg call, we specify the employee name column and the delimiter for the string, comma being the default. We specify within group and the order of the data in the list. As required, we see the list of employees for each department. If the resulting string is too long, we get an overflow error. Here we've increased the total number of rows by doing a cross join to a thousand rows of generated data, and we see the error result of string concatenation is too long. Oracle 12.2 gave us the ability to handle these overflow errors by adding the on overflow truncate clause. We can see the query was successful, but the output ends with an ellipsis and an overflow character count. We can replace the ellipsis with alternative characters. We can remove the overflow count by adding the without count clause. We insert two duplicates of an existing employee record. Using the basic syntax again, we see the duplicates in the list. There are a number of ways to remove these duplicates. Here we use the row number analytic function to rank the rows based on name and select only those rows with a rank of 1. We can then use this as the source data for the list ag call. This has removed the duplicate data. Here we remove the duplicate data using a select distinct in an inline view. Using this as the source data for the list ag call has removed the duplicate data. In Oracle 19c it gets easier as we can add the distinct keyword to the list ag call to remove the duplicates. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.